positive for the COVID-19. Uh, she'll probably be fine because the death rate is like 1.2 and dropping, uh, although 1.2 is apparently 50 times more than the flu, so it's nothing to scoff at. But <sighs> thank you guys for tuning in to another hopefully exciting video today. I've got some interesting topics as usual to go over. Today we're going to be talking about more proof that black lives don't matter unless white people are involved. The mayor of Seoul, South Korea isn't missing anymore because he's dead. Donald Trump Jr.'s girlfriend tests positive for the Kung flu, and North Korea still hasn't been nuked by us for some reason. I honestly don't know why. I'm Anthony, and this is Allow Me to Retort. Thank you guys for tuning into another video today don't forget to leave a comment down below like and subscribe 41 percent of you guys who are watching the video aren't subscribed what are you even doing 41 percent that's a lot of people come on hit the subscribe button okay uh anyway let's get into why you came here you came for some news and i've got some news so in case you guys missed it fourth of july weekend 20 people were shot in atlanta and none of them were cop involved one of them was an eight-year-old girl she was killed in an area under control by black Lives matter protesters uh, you know the name george floyd rashad brooks michael brown but do you know sicoria turner probably not because it's not popular right she was killed by some black people so we're not going to talk about it but if a cop was involved of course we'll be all upset about it now what happened that got this girl killed uh, apparently her mother had attempted to drive through some barriers that were illegally placed by this black lives matter protesters because once again when they do come in they seize an area they tell people who aren't part of black lives matter that they don't belong they make their own little safe space even these so-called peaceful protesters are very aggressive in some of their tactics uh, i'll have a video down below actually that shows a man who's just walking with a flag who gets pretty much attacked just for walking with his flag uh, through a place that is under control by Black Lives Matter. Um, anyway, the mother driving through this barrier that they put there illegally, somebody just opened fire on the car. I guess they felt like they were under attack. They felt like they were being invaded. And so they decided to open fire on this car and hitting this young girl who was rushed to the hospital. She's eight years old. She did not survive her gunshots. Uh, here is a video from a press conference where her dad uh, describes what they're going through right now. They say Black Lives Matter. You killed your own. You killed your own this time. Just because of barrier. They killed my baby because she crossed the barrier and made a U-turn. You killed a child. She ain't do nothing to nobody. They didn't give us time to make a U-turn. They started shooting on my car before we could even make a U-turn. Shooting my ties out like, why? But Black Lives Matter. Killing your own. Nobody that'll help. You me. killed an eight year old child. Nobody. She ain't did nothing to now one of y'all. She just wanted to get home to see her cousin. That's all she wanted to do. She just wanted to get home. That video is extremely sad. Apparently the mother uh, wasn't even actually in their area. She was just trying to make a U-turn to get around the barrier and they started shooting at a car. She says they shot at the tires and all sorts of things. And uh, she says that they hit the girl in the back. So that means the car was probably even departing from that area when they continued to shoot at it. It's just extremely sad. But once again, Black Lives Matter, you hear all about that, but you won't hear about any of these kind of facts that we are doing this to ourselves you won't even hear about the fact that yeah 20 people were shot in atlanta in one day but overall what is it 19 people over the course of a whole year were killed by uh, 19 black unarmed people were shot by the cops over like a whole year uh, meanwhile in chicago 19 unarmed black people killed that's just another weekend that's not a big deal why don't we talk about these numbers because black lives matter right I said it before, I'll say it again, black lives matter to everyone besides black people. We need to stop this foolishness, stop this racial division because it's not about a race, it's about us. We need to get our stuff together and if you want to change the world, you got to change yourself first. That seems to be what black lives matter, this movement seems to be 
shucking away. They don't want to make any change. They won't take responsibility for any of their actions. They won't take responsibility for this person. They'll call that person an outlier or if they even address it at all, which they probably won't address it at all. I believe you won't hear anybody saying I stand with Sequoia Turner or protesting for Sequoia Turner, but you'll hear George Floyd, Rashad Brooks and Michael Brown, criminals with criminal backgrounds who got caught doing criminal things and died uh, most of the time resisting arrests or fighting. This is what happens. Meanwhile, you have an actual innocent girl, no criminal background, no criminal acts. She died trying to get away to safety, trying to get back to see her friends and play games and do what little girls do. But here you have it. Black Lives Matter has her blood on their hands and they won't acknowledge it. Nobody will acknowledge it because this whole country is backwards. Speaking of tragedy, or maybe not tragedy, as we dig deeper into this, Park Won Soon, the mayor of Seoul, South Korea, was found dead after he went missing. The news that makes this not necessarily tragic is that it turns out a female employee had just filed sexual harassment claims against Mr. Park hours before he went missing. They're saying they're not sure if this was a factor. But I kind of think it was. Uh, Asians are very much about their honor, very much about bringing honor to their family. And the fact that this was about to come out on Mr. Park Won Soon, uh, I think that's more than enough reason for him to disappear. Uh, his daughter actually said uh, he left a very suspicious voicemail uh, before he had left that day. And that's what made her report him missing. Uh, we don't have all the details yet. They're being kind of secretive about it. But we do know he did not show up to work on Thursday. He canceled a meeting. They caught him on camera going into the woods. Uh, they tracked his cell phone and apparently it looks like he was alone. They haven't said anything about foul play. So I'm thinking he committed suicide. Uh, because of he knew all this was coming forward and not that it matters but he was a member of South Korea's Democratic Party he was one of their poster boys they loved him over there uh, he was also a presidential candidate hopeful in their 2022 elections I'm thinking he definitely offed himself because of what he was facing again uh, but we'll definitely have to wait to see what comes forward but I'm kind of making my call on it right now either somebody murdered him because of these sexual harassment allegations or he killed himself uh, just knowing how honorable uh, most Asians especially over there in the east typically are I'm thinking when he found out that all this was coming forward uh, knowing his career politically was about to be ruined I think he may have offed himself I'm very interested to see what happened over there in South Korea. Meanwhile, back here in the States, Kimberly Gullifoyle? Gullifoyle? Kimberly Gullifoyle? Donald Trump Jr.'s girlfriend and a top campaign official. She has tested positive for the COVID-19. Uh, she'll probably be fine because the death rate is like 1.2 and dropping. Uh, although 1.2 is apparently 50 times more than the flu, so it's nothing to scoff at. But... <sighs> My point is, I think she's going to be fine. I just find it interesting that um, there were so many articles, at least for me, I'm really into the news, so I have a lot of news articles come through to me automatically. Uh, my phone was blowing up when it turned out she tested positive for coronavirus, almost as if the news articles were celebrating. It was really weird to see how everyone was posting Donald Trump Jr.'s girlfriend uh, now has COVID-19 top Trump uh, campaign official tested positive for COVID-19. I mean, I just thought it was kind of weird that there seems to be this celebration of bad news for anyone related to Donald Trump or anyone related to the uh, right. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but I just know my phone was exploding when it turned out she tested positive for COVID-19. And my last story, uh, back to the Koreas. This time we're talking about North. They have said they no longer wish to sit with the United States to talk about denuclearization. Um, I said it a long time ago that I didn't really see that there was a point to talk with this hostile nation. They're pretty crazy over there. Uh, lots of people argue with me and they thought that Trump was doing a good thing. And even I was impressed when he was able to walk over into the North Korea side and shake hands with uh, Kim. But honestly, I never really thought it meant anything. I've always thought North Korea is hostile. There's no reason for us to be bargaining with these people who are so oppressive towards their own citizens. I think we need to flatten whatever compound Kim Jong-un is hiding out in. Just 
bomb it, bomb it him and all his elected officials and everybody else who's around him. Just flatten it all out. There's no time for negotiation. There's no room for negotiation with a place like North Korea. And at this point, they're just disrespecting us. They also say, we do not feel any need to sit face to face with the U.S. as it does not consider the DPRK U.S. dialogue anything more than a tool for grappling its political crisis. Uh, so what they're basically saying is that the United States is having a political crisis and they're not necessarily wrong. I mean, we're going to have to choose between Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and God help us all, Kanye West, uh, this election coming up. So I do very much believe we are in a political crisis uh, and it should be us who's calling it out and putting our best foot forward to the rest of the world. But here you have North Korea, uh, the hermit country uh, calling us out, making us look like fools. This onslaught of disrespect from other countries has uh, been increasing a lot lately, especially when the liberal media pushes negative messages and lots of anti-America messages. The rest of the world sees that news and they think America is falling apart. And in certain ways, with Black Lives Matter taking over and certain police departments being defunded or having their funds reallocated and everybody else yelling to uh, dismantle the police and our monuments being toppled, yes, the United States is falling apart. Black Lives Matter, they're pretty much an Anarchists, they, uh, but at the same time, they act like they want more government control. They act like they want more handouts. So it's clear that they're only anarchists uh, if you're Republican. If you're Democrat and you're going to be giving out freebies, they love the government. But anyway, those are all my stories. You guys need to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Black Lives Matter is as much of a joke as I think it is? It's ridiculous that they ignore the astounding numbers of black people killed by black people, but then they harp on the 19 black people killed killed a year by cops who most of the time those black people were doing something wrong. I'd probably say 99% of the time those black people were in the wrong uh, when they were killed by cops. What do you think about Seoul, South Korea's mayor, uh, maybe killing himself? Do you think it's interesting that their Democratic frontrunner, who was going to be a presidential candidate, supposedly has been accused of sexual assault and then he magically dies? Uh, I think it's very interesting. Have you guys noticed your news being inundated with anything bad that happens to people who are related to Donald Trump. Does it seem like they're celebrating it or is it I'm just being paranoid? And lastly, North Korea, what do you think? Don't you think those people, those citizens, they need some liberating over there? I think this is the year that we assassinate Kim Jong-un and we assassinate the person who steps in line next and we assassinate the person who steps in line next until we leave a big old power vacuum that South Korea can gobble up and set a bunch of people free. We need to send a message over there because Rocket Man is on on the loose again talking all kind of trash i mean our country is being disrespected by a guy who can only run his country through fear and extortion and i just think that's wrong but those are my thoughts let me know yours in the comments down below hit subscribe 40 percent 40 something percent of you guys aren't subscribed hit that button i'm anthony and this is allow me to retort